Okay, we're gonna try this again. I think this is like take three. Um, we're doing a little one month garden update. So, the oldest part of my garden, which would be the corn and green beans and that sorts of things, have been in officially four weeks. The younger part, which is the corn and that stuff over there, has it been in about three and a half weeks. So I got some cabbage, got some corn. It's doing better now that it's uh, uh, getting past its tiny stage. <laughs> uh, growing pretty good. We got a good sized row of carrots. They're coming in good. Got a row for something. I'm thinking probably more beets. The beets and accidental onions are doing well. The lavender I planted, heard bees like it. It's doing pretty cool. Uh, it's putting on all the little blooms, whatever they're spears or whatever they're called uh, if anyone wanted to give me any advice on growing lavender that'd be cool green beans doing well putting on blooms it's always my favorite time when they start putting on blooms and you see the honeybees and stuff coming up to them we've got uh, uh, russet potatoes and more potatoes it might be red I think those ones might be my red potatoes, the shorter row over there. Um, and then on the other side of them, we got more green beans. Can't have too much green beans. Um, what I can't eat or can't can or give to family, I just take to church. and People are real glad to take them home. Um, we got a little more potatoes over there on the end. Um, those ones are some... I think they were Russian banana potatoes. They're kind of little ones, make good for frying. My uh, wildflower patch, and I'm not talking about my dandelion farm, um, is coming up pretty good. I'll get the second part in probably by the end of the week, this next week. And then over here we got some tomatoes, we got onions, red onions over there, white onions over here. Um, Red sweet bell peppers down on the end there. They're yellow right now. Um, some green bell peppers. Some doing well, some not so well. Two more red bananas. Uh, and then some cucumbers on the far side. Um, and they're doing good. I already picked cucumbers off them. Looks like I maybe got one, a couple more ready. Those ones are burpless cucumbers and then I put in some pickling cucumbers um, and I've left some of the natural flower just to get the bees to come up seems to be working pretty good actually um, then over here I have zucchini I've already pulled a few zucchini off of it it's doing well um, back there is a patty pan and crook neck I think it is and then some cherry tomatoes. That one's a green steak tomato something. My mom likes them. It's doing well, but not doing well. And different types. This one here in the front is a, is a black tomato of some sort. A, what is it? Indigo rose. It looked cool, so I planted it. Um, and I got some more cucumbers. I got some cucumbers ready to pick already too. Then back there we got uh, acorn squash. And I noticed just the other day we got us a little baby acorn. That's so cool. Um, and then over here I got blue and purple potatoes. I'm gonna go see about getting some more straw. And then my half a week, week older corn. Um, then up here I planted this stuff here in the corner is that stevia I think it's called just because she threw it in because it was gonna die if I didn't take it home and then we got some mint and a double mint I should put some gum in there huh double mint gum um, and then spearmint and those are my garlic that I didn't know I was supposed to plant in the winter <laughs> and then what is it uh, sage and oregano 
those were some more that well if I didn't take them they were gonna die on the rack so I brought them home put them in the ground but uh, so that's the, the little big garden that could uh, <laughs> I was talking with God when I planted it and I said you know Lord we're getting this in late you're gonna have to make it grow fast pretty sure he told me I can do that so it's kind of what it's looking like but hey you guys have a wonderful Lord's Day and I guess goodbye.